Hello out there, this is DZ, your overlord, Desiran, and welcome back to the 25th ward, the silver case. Uh, <laughs> uh, now we just finished the opening prototype, and we're going to continue forward. What the hell? Correctness. Oh, okay. So it doesn't look like there's an option for anything else. Number one, New World Order. Okay. <clears throat> Am I dead? Did I actually die at the at the that prologue? Oh boy. Whoa. Um, life or death? Um, October 3rd, 4.40 p.m. Seaside Park. Excuse me? Oh. Hey, Michiru, how are you? Sorry, were you waiting long? Kosaka. No, I just arrived myself. <clears throat> Hatoba. Okay. You look well. I haven't seen you in years. Since Sakaguchi's funeral. That was five years ago. Wow, so it's been that long? Ever since that case, I'd prefer you didn't speak about that. Yeah, sorry about that. But the past is the past. You can't force yourself to forget it, you know? Anyway, what did you want to speak with me about? Where are you at these days? I've heard rumors. I'm working as an official at the Ministry of International Trade and Industry. I wasn't cut out for criminal investigation. I'm really satisfied with my current position. Can I take that at face value? A detective who was once on the front lines of investigation is satisfied working as a bureaucrat. I don't believe that. I thought the same thing. I was worried about whether I'd really be able to tear myself away from the job. But it turns out I was made for office work. Even I was surprised by that discovery. That's good. I was actually worried about you after hearing that you'd left the 24 wards. So this is a relief. Thank you for thinking of me. It's an easy job. You should make some time to enjoy life. Yes, I will. You take care, too. Wait! There's one thing I forgot. I've been hearing rumors recently. An administrative officer has been going out more lately. And has apparently been putting together a special investigation unit in secret. Sounds like some really capable people are joining up. Have you heard anything about this? No, nothing in particular. Yeah, I guess you wouldn't have. In this line of work, there aren't many capable people out there. So I thought it might have been you. Sorry for doubting you. I'm not that good. <clears throat> I'm far away from all of that now. 
Not that far. It's got to do with what's happening here right now. I feel death in the 25th Ward. Death? Huh. 5.52 p.m. Elevator. Okay... Whoa! No fingerprints or traces. <clears throat> no results from the autopsy or analysis of the body. Security, cam security camera data has been lost. The victim has no next of kin. No witnesses. M.O. was cold and ruthless. Dead men tell no tales. Sakaki. This condo's administrator is Kosuki Kurumizawa, age 30. The only thing to help identify him was a resume from six months ago. Shiro Yabu. Wait, Shiro Yabu? Shiro Yabu? Isn't that the cop? A resume he'd used at a job interview. Sakaki. We checked out his most recent address, and it was a dormitory where single people tend to hang out. Nobody knew anything about Kuru Mizawa. So no trace at all. Where was he registered? It wasn't recorded in his ledger, and when he moved into the 25th Ward, all the data had changed. So no trace here either. Doesn't anyone know anything about Kuru Mizawa's p past? Hmm. What? Cat got your tongue? Well, uh... It's a bit nasty, but... They found a large amount of hair during the autopsy. It looks like the victim had eaten it all. Ate? Like, he ate it. Ate it. Yeah, he ate it. Ate it. It looks like he'd been eating a load of female hair. That's fucked up. Just hardcore creepy shit. Pretty normal perversion, really. I heard this from one of my mentors, but a crime where personal information go goes missing isn't a normal crime. From whom? He's dead now. He got too involved in some case. Wait. Is, Sh is Shiro Yabu the guy from... Shiro Yabu? Excuse me, where's the scene? Oh, uh, wow, it's pretty quiet here. Excuse me, manager? Could we get some guidance? Uh, I'm not a manager. Okay. Uh, talk? Apparently these condos had more than a million applicants in the first day on sale. Each tower has 3,000 homes. And there are... What, 30 towers? <clears throat> That's around 90,000 homes. That's pretty impressive. Population-wise, by quick estimate, that's like 300,000 people. But it totally doesn't have that lived-in feeling, you know? There aren't many people walking around, and there's no karaoke place here. I don't get your standards. People who care about things like karaoke don't apply to live here. Most of the people living here either have a reason to want to get away from the normal government, or have decided to make huge changes in their lives. They target people from out in the sticks who don't have some kind of group they belong to. What the hell does that mean? That means doing away with city life. What's behind that is... pretty clear. What is it? I got no clue. What? 
you don't know either? I wouldn't really want to live here myself. It has no warmth, you know? Uh, do I have anything? I have an ID card, and that's it. 75028. Oh, right. Okay. Eh. Whoop. I mean, we can try going to 75028 if you guys want. Boom. We're just zooming. And next one. Okay, so my options are just talk or item. All I have is an ID card. Okay. So we'll talk. It almost feels like the future. Like you can't really feel any sign of people actually living here. It's not bad though. This living space does sort of have a 25th ward feel to it, doesn't it? That may be fine for you. For some people, this could be a real breeding ground for crime. Oh yeah, I get what you mean. The psychology of fear can spread. They talked about that in the lectures. Shit. Wasted time shooting the breeze. Kuro-san's gonna be pissed. Kuro-san? Manager, you mean this room? Uh, I guess. I can move now, so... Eh. Crime scene. Sakaki, is this the body? There are no injuries. The fuck are you dickheads doing? Sure took you long enough to get your asses here. Did you sell all your cookies or whatever? You detectives go on a nice little date? You think this is fucking happy fun time? This case is already pretty fucked up. Looks like serial murders. Sorry. We were talking with the building manager. The manager? You mean this asshole? I guess it wasn't clear enough to you that asking a mouth breather with this dumbass look on his face wasn't going to get you any significant answers, was it? Jabroni. What? I mean, you've only been a detective for like, what, three years already? It's Shiro Yabu. And what about you, Sakaki? Uh, yes sir. I'm helping out with the autopsy. Right, Hiro? Yes, she makes herself useful. She's really quite a lifesaver, so please go easy on her, Kuro-san. So having a cute young girl around is apparently a real motivator. Right, Jabroni? Are you seriously going to keep calling me Jabroni? I really hate that nickname. Quit fucking around and start investigating like a big boy. Unless you want to get tossed back out to the sticks. Yes, sir. Uh, well, ha. Huh. I mean, a look. What's this? This blood splatter. Is that all you're gonna say? Alright. Oh, I can pick. So, Sakaki, Shiroyabu, Kuro Yanagi. 
Kuro Yanagi. Wasn't Sakura... Wasn't her last name Natsume? Is this a different person, or did she change her name? Uh... I mean, I guess I'll talk to her first. If you don't need to be here, then fuck off. Wow. Okay. She's pretty rough, isn't she? There aren't many women out there with the nickname Japanese Dirty Harry. Her New Year's resolution was to become the kind of detective who looks good with a revolver. And she's got a really dirty mouth. Sorry if I'm complaining like this. Uh-huh. How about Sakaki? Sir, are you okay? You had a hard time, huh? You found the body, right? You seem okay. Are you used to this sort of thing? There are a lot of suicides around here, so you're probably used to finding bodies and stuff. Don't let it get you down. Uh, I'm fine. I am perfectly fine. Uh, okay. Get the fuck out of the way. Oh, wow. Okay, well. She's gonna be... The HC unit forbids re revolvers. Since she isn't able to carry one for her day job, she moonlights as a bouncer. If caught, she'd be fired immediately. But somehow she never gets reported. I... <laughs> Fair enough. Don't let it get you down. Uh, I guess I'll keep going with Shiro Yabu. Something is bothering me. It's like a pristine dead body. Some really vicious blood splatters. I almost feel like we're being invited. Do you get what I mean? Kinda sorta? Oh. Now you're letting me look close. Okay. There's something unusual about this blood. Hiruka... Do blood splatters usually reach the ceiling? Haruka. Some small splatters could. It's not inconceivable. But this amount... This isn't realistic. Maybe it was done manually? Someone used some method of spraying it up there? But, like, what would the point of that be? This feels really weird for a suicide, doesn't it? Yeah, in the six months since opening alone... There have been more than ten suicides, which definitely sounds fishy. Huh? You see this hole here? Hole? Something smells... Excuse me, could you cut the lights in this room for a minute? Something's bothering me. Okay, oh... Something weird is up with this light. Really? You think? It's too dangerous to be here. Get too close to the fire, and you're gonna get burned, too. You know, I'm gonna keep talking to you and just see if you said the same thing. Okay, same thing. Let's try Sakaki. This hole is... shining? You just gonna say that again? Yeah, okay. So it's Shiro Yabu I need to talk to. What's this? Really? Is that all you're gonna tell me? I swear, you people. You should get out of here. This place reeks of something hidden and dangerous. Jabroni! Sakaki! Get away from the light! Light? What the hell? 
at this time of day? That's awesome. It looks like Christmas lights. The manager should be taken outside where it's safer. Sakaki, where are you? Respond. I'm totally fine. I'm fine, but the light is so bright. Ah! Uh, what just happened? Did that just go off again? Huh? What? Sakaki, are you even listening? Oh god, is she dead? Um... Hey. Why are you all stiff? Your mouth's open. Sakaki? No way? Jabroni, tell me what the fuck is going on. Don't just vocalize your goddamn feelings. Use your fucking words to explain what's going on. She's dead. Sakaki was killed. There's a sniper up above. Stay away from the light and get everyone out into the hallway. Sakaki. Sakaki's... I've lost another partner. Holy shit. Kosaka. Cities decay and cities are built. Even if our infinite karma was a means of killing our way of life, we wouldn't notice. We're just dolls, entrusting our everything to the system. Smile for me, Sakura. I'm utterly powerless. I'm just not gonna make it. Yet another perfect lifestyle has been born, and the dreamlike life based on despair contaminates the people. This could be the re-advent of the 24 wards. Alright then, everyone. It's about time to stop dreaming. All units, are you prepared? You have one mission. Kill the life. Okay... I... what? Until we have a clear idea of what this guy is packing, we're at a huge disadvantage. Listen up, jabroni. We've only got two combatants out there. This hottie and your punk ass. But this is enough people to turn things around. No way. We don't even know who or what this guy is. Quit whining like a little bitch and just kill this guy. If you're gonna give up and die, then we'll know just how capable, capable you are. If you're gonna be a detective, then man the fuck up and do your job for once. Got it? <clears throat> yes. I'll take him out. Okay then. Now lure him out. Run this way down the hallway, and you should reach the elevator. Wait on the upper floor. Huh? What about you? I'm gonna provide backup, obviously. I'm not so much of an asshole that I'd leave you hanging. Right? I guess I'm gonna have to go. Please make sure you have my back. Uh, wait. So am I playing as him or am I me? What's happening? Talk. Can't move freely, but standing still isn't an option either. Damn tight spot. Okay, gotcha. Move. Standing around here is dangerous. Come on, we're moving. Uh... Oh, whoa, wrong way.
Move it. We gotta get back to the elevator. Enter the floor number. Well, she said the upper floor, so... 80? Oh. Shh. That was the highest number on the keypad. Huh? The elevator stopped. I don't like this sense of instability. I can't look. Apparently all I can do is talk. Shit. What do I do now? I don't get that bitch at all. What the hell kind of orders are these? Lure him out? The fuck kind of plan is that? She's not even backing me up either. I can't deal with this bullshit seriously. Stop being a bitch. Oh. Were you listening? Were you eavesdropping? That's pretty creepy, man. If you were listening, then just tell me so. I'm not actually the type of guy to talk badly about people. To be honest, just between you and me, I actually respect her. That sounds forced, doesn't it? I really can't stand her. Uh-huh. Tell someone who cares, buddy. Is something shining? Yeah, you better move. A delivery guy? Uh, this may not be good. Hey, what are you doing over there? Uh, buddy? The mailman, right? What kind of work requires a night vision scope? Some sort of private startup or something? It must be pretty tough, though. Having to insource secure work to go up against private corporations. Crawling up into the attic to assassinate people. I... what? <laughs> Shit. Good job ducking. This shit is dangerous. What the hell am I supposed to do if I die? Goddamn pampered, comfy bureaucrats shouldn't be playing with grown-up toys. Huh? What? Are you mad? Don't get in my way here. My job is stressful enough as it is. So? Delivery guy. It's not like I get paid extra for being exploited like this in a dangerous environment. This job isn't really worth it, and the last thing I need is more stress. I want to settle this peacefully. Peacefully? What are you doing here? Look, the 25th Ward is kept secure by the Postal Services Federation. What? All the police need to do is handle adjustments, adjustment and disposal afterwards. And seeing how you people actually work, what a pity. Looks like you're going to die in vain, kid. So it was organized crime after all. I had read that it was a plot by general contractors, but damn. These simple detectives are out of your league with this. Your investigations are just a waste of time. This activity, it's invisible. What a load of horse shit. My job is managing and regulating the people. Now quietly shut your mouth. You talk too much. Whoa! You're a 25th Ward HC unit detective, right? Then step up and kill the motherfucker. Disposal is your job. But, like, there's that interval, you know? That unique feeling you get when, star when staring death in the eye. The mental strain between you and the opponent. The conflict. 
You're gonna die, you know that? We're in the shit here. Guys who wait around for intervals get their asses handed to them. Next time you hesitate like that, I'm gonna kill you myself. So stop being a pussy. Okay. I'll buy you some new undies later. <laughs> so until then, keep your shit together. Shit. Oh! Hey manager, you're in the way. Go hide somewhere. We're surrounded. We can't get out of we can't get out of this. These assholes are desperate too. If this is their oh so holy workplace, then we're the intruders. That's some arbitrary reasoning. Disposing of these guys is also our own arbitrary reasoning. It's basically the same thing, right? Sakaki has been killed. We have a really big reason. And we killed one of theirs too. So we're even. Even so, we have to avenge Sakaki. Jesus Christ, you guys are annoying. All you need to do is whip out your guns and dispose of these assholes. This job isn't about reasons and reasoning and shit like that. But motive is important. What the fuck ever? It's been a while since a disposal this big. I'm pretty stoked. Don't get in the way, jabroni. And don't do anything stupid. Got it? This is a really big catch. Act accordingly. I'm gonna lose my shit too. The rage has really been building up. I'm gonna hulk the fuck out. Sorry if you get killed. Well, I'm gonna turn into a ferocious ass beast myself. Ferocious ass beast, huh? You're such a poet. Maybe I'll have you write my epitaph someday. Let the massacre begin. What the hell? Whoa. The target residential district, number 6 Bayside Tower, has been neutralized. 39 Federation affiliates have been processed. 118 people were detained and then transferred to the processing center. Scheduled to be incinerated in 40 minutes. No change in schedule so far. Survival has been confirmed for three agents of the 25th Ward HC unit. One died instantly. Name? It has been confirmed that Agent Sakaki was killed in the line of duty. I see. Be sure to take proper care of her surviving family. Understood. What about our guy? We've confirmed their safety. I have been assured that they, bo that they boast truly congenital criminal prowess. What? Good work. Get out of the area as soon as the evidence has been destroyed. Roger. This isn't finished yet. You're still out there, somewhere close by. You're out there somewhere, laughing. Such an avaricious beast. Where are you? Looking down at the world and fucking laughing. What the hell? Man, this has been a while. There you are, up on the top floor. Who are you? Uihara is on the top floor of this building. Come away? Well, I'm calling it an episode here one way or another. Atrium. So, yeah, I'm going to save here. Title menu, load, settings, save. So, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe if you want to see more, and share it with anyone else you think might enjoy it. Just 
back out there. If you want to suggest a game, leave it in the comments below, and check out links in the description for the 25th Ward on Steam, although this is the PS4 version that I'm playing. And well, in the next part we'll push forward with whatever the hell our role in all this is, because I still don't know for sure. Uh, either way. Until then, though, this is DZ, your overlord, Desiran. You all have a great day, and I'll see ya. <laughs> <laughs>